gives me a better conversion rate anyway. Yeah, I got a fleet in Mombasa, but I might have been uh, intercepted by superior navies. Well, probably should have checked that first. There is no way I'd be intercepted by any of those. Right, so this was the one that includes Ajaran. I should just go and stomp down their troops, really. Wherever they may be. worth having. Probably because I'm at war then. Well, I got a plan. Well, other than the obvious, destroy my enemies. Oh, that's right. The whole point of these wars was to tech up. It's not that I really want that much. Um, yeah. Double yeah. And we are real close now to getting the advanced Cassus Belli, as they call it. Also quite close to uh, Absolutism, which I do really like, but it's no longer useful. So I think we'll just... Um, take that instead. Now, unfortunately, hmm, oh, wrong one. Unfortunately, we don't have the war score to take that from you. Length of war. Ugh. That, and you still hold your capital, which is over there. Well, let's go and fix that. Jake, can you work with your PP? You have Lika now. You can probably privateer Spain and frogs now. That's far too far away. Well, actually, I could probably uh, privateer them over in Tunis. Doesn't really do anything. <laughs> I could do the uh, the Caribbean. Would that really work? Wow, okay. Caribbean is good. I'm also short one rival. Should probably uh, make one. Speaking of making things, it's high time I make myself a fleet. But the thing is, we're just shy of getting better boats, man. Heavy frigates are at 23 when we get the limes. Nah, forget it. Get some hot damn frigates on the go. We've neglected our navy pretty much all game, except for when we were playing the uh, friendly ship merchant, where we sold ships, took the money, and kept the ships. Thankfully, we've annexed almost any nation that would want to uh, bring that up again. Right, not really counting, but that seems to be good enough. Fully expect these enemy troops to ravage me. Jake, why do you hate horses? They're expensive, and at this stage in the game, I'd rather have a cannon than a horse. Unless it's a farm. Just not a fan of using the template. I mean, it's not like I even knew what I wanted to build there. I just built until I felt I was done. Alright. Don't really think that's going to get Ajaran out of this war. I need to 
go and deal with you. And pop go the Ajaran. Good luck with your westernization. Transports beat them down. What a harsh use of our glorious Gertruda. It's a shame that we're reinforced so slowly in vassal lands. But is it one weakness of my setup here? Whatever, we'll still help them out. Jake, any thoughts of going for Kiowa and Mutapa and making them a client state instead of the four gold provinces? Not really. I have no interest in expanding further in Africa, because, well, you know my feelings towards Africa. Now, Ajaran probably don't want out of this war, just holding their capital is nowhere near enough. But I know that you want out of this war. Remember, I just declared these wars to lower my piety, it's not that I'm really gunning for anything here. this, what I should be doing is blockading your capital. Which side is the port even on? There we go. And as long as I have you fully done, you're not going to say no. Gee, it's a good thing I don't really care much about manpower because uh, these caraman guys are slaughtering us. Brandenburg fielding a three-star general, as they do. Hmm, now why would you make Savoy an elector when you don't really like them? Keep in mind that Bohemia is an elector. They're allied with Frankfurt, Ulm, Trier and Saxony, so that leaves Pomerania and Savoy who I would have to fight. I could fight Pomerania, that would drag in Bohemia. Bohemia would drag in all the other electors, well I'd have to make sure that Trier would join in at that time. And then to fight Savoy, I could declare on Great Britain. That would call him Savoy, I'd get all the capitals done and we'd call it a day. So once we get Imperialism, that's what we'll do. Jake, who is the worst or hardest country that's been picked for a multiplayer game? Somebody chose Bourbon. But with uh, support, you can get that easily enough. Somebody chose Tabaristan. Good luck to them. Who else is there? I can't think off the top of my head. Ah, welcome, Syria. First off, where are your boats? These don't look like my boats. So... I'll get you over here and deal with you. How about these buildings? Oh, you were good in the buildings. That I like. Now, the unrest is pretty low in all of these provinces. I'd probably be as well just lowering it. Hmm. Is that really a wise thing to do? Not unrest, uh, the autonomy. Well, maybe in the more expensive provinces.
Good enough. Alright, once that capital falls, it'll be time. That's not very nice, though. I hope, uh, hope they didn't cancel a building I had going there. They did not. Speaking of buildings we have going, though, Cape. Yeah, they've already got Custom House. I know we're trying to save our dip tech, but I do like having these buildings quite a lot. And you folks get back to... Oh, we're no longer at war. All right. Well, once we peace out, we'll be exiled and we'll get you back home that way. The coalition dissolving because there's nobody with aggressive expansion towards us. We've fully occupied Yemen. Time to get that one province that we want. Could make it two. I don't want to pay dip here. next. Because we use so many cannons, getting plus two to can uh, artillery fire is going to be enormous. Jake, cancel access from Ethiopia. Capital idea. We'll do that once our exiled forces are out of there. Superior Coptic faith indeed, but I still prefer Orthodox. In Mayo this religion is called Oriental Orthodox. Now I'm not very clued up on religions, but my housemate was like, what? Form an alliance with Marti. Ooh, well, that gives us dip. Margiten. Who? I know they're here in Africa, but. Oh, it's Maj. You like us, Buddy Blue? Let's have that alliance then. You know, I haven't done any mission exploits in quite a while. It used to be a staple for the uh, the exploits that I do. So maybe I should see if we can do anything relating to that. Royal marriage with them. We'll also do that because we fleshed out Diplo ideas. What? Uh, I got a better idea. Oh, we can no longer marry them. Well, let's take this moment to get our third rival. Portugal, the Ottomans can be a rival again? Well, I am about to destroy them, so sure. It means I can privateer them again. They still hold most of Constantinople, so that won't be a problem. Uh, oh, what a shame, I was looking forward to that 25 dip. Hmm. Anyway, I have no interest in actually joining your war here, so we're just going to dissolve that alliance and decline. Having none of your rubbish. No prestige hit, probably no trust hit, other than for getting rid of that uh, alliance. Now what? I want to see if I can do something here. Yeah, figures. We've got other missions that are too good. Crush Spain. It's probably because we have rivals. And I'm not incorporating Caraman. Never. Cartridge get. 23 is a huge one as well, but at least we'll have time to wait for it. Diplotech soon. Now, fighting in the HRE means fighting Bohemia and Pals, but he doesn't seem to have that many Pals. 
At least not that many strong pals. Trier. Uh, why are they... Why are they being such a bother? Well, the worst comes to worst. We'll just gift them up later on. What we also need to do is start integrating Nepal. We may as well start it now. It's going to take forever anyway. PPs looked worse. Yeah, so integrating these guys is going to take forever, but it's not going to hurt our dip that much. Because we recently got that hit to our diplomatic uh, reputation. It's only going to go two at a time. Jeez, Ming don't look so good. And the coalition against us is more or less completely dissolved. It's only the late joiners that have a wee bit to go. Now, curiously, if I were to fight you using Austria's uh, CB, yeah, you'd still be protected. And I need to fight Protestants rather than Catholics, because if I fight Protestants, good old France is going to join. If I fight Catholics, good old France, Defender of the Faith, will join in. I feel short on troops around here, although I'm over my force limit. I already paid Nepal. I think they've got plenty of buildings as it is, he says, looking at these fairly barren provinces. Nobody will have built up the important centres of trade, like Chittagong. Yep. Bengal Delta. What else was there? Hmm. Didn't build up that. Anyway, he's fine. Let's get some boats on the go for a change. It is time. The thing is now, what do we do with all these guys? If I throw them over to Aden, I think we could really secure it. Maybe not. Maybe we don't need quite so many, though. Just leave 12 behind. The rest of you can patrol Aden. Transfer trade power using the Indus guy. And we'll collect using the Goa guy, because that increases the uh, price of the goods. Uh, sorry, that increases the income that you make by 10%. Collect using the little guy. You're pretty good there because... No, there is no because. You're pretty worthless there. What can we do instead? Yeah, I could shove you down here, but... Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think we will shove you down there. You transfer trade power using the... Ceylon guy and the 12 ships we took back you protect the trade over in Zanzibar I'm no expert on trade I just do what feels right hello imperialism let's go break the HRA but to do that you need rather a lot of troops and I feel a bit bad because Caraman are still sitting there with all that all that uh, revolt so what we're going to do first is break the Ottomans apart. I made a whole bunch of claims on them, but I get the feeling that's not what's going to be necessary. Because Caraman here have a bunch of claims, and I may as well go for their ones. Oh damn, they are uh, getting a bit frisky. It's just a shame that we don't have uh, administrative efficiency yet. Jake, you can collect in Aleppo. Not really worth it, not with that amount of power. And whoa, whoa, no, don't be going down there. We don't have nearly enough power in the Cape for that to be worthwhile.
Respectable. Yeah, almost 100 ducats from trade. That's good. Dare I say it's acceptable. Alright, allied with Nagai and Tunis. We care not. Actually, we may as well take... Uh, we may as well use imperialism. All provinces are cheaper. Less aggressive expansion. No dip cost for any of them. They are certainly better off in our glorious empire. The issue is they can probably still field a bit of an army. Nah, I'm confident. Let's just bring our troops down in preparation for it, though. Because it's Constantinople that we need to hold. Jake, core the lands you took from a man in Yemen. I am way ahead of you. Now, what of these ships we have here? No real uh, transport, uh, no real trade ships yet. Nor do I have many. Let's go for that then. Yeah, I quite want the Sue and Sinai for myself to build the canal, but that's a while away. Bad days for Constantinople. They haven't moved their capital though, so let's try and get. Uh, we'll try and get it separated. Maybe. Give it to me. Tunis and Nagai, no real interest in either of those. Them wrecking my uh, trade fleet, though, not so pathetic. Hold, guys, hold. And away you go. I mean, never stop privateering, but go home. Right, there you are, hiding in the, in the Albanian mountains. But how big are my balls? Gee, what an awful, uh, awful general. Good enough, though. If they want to run away to planes, so be it. Get rid of the only advantage you had against me. Yep, Miltech 22 is a big tech. Pop goes the Ottoman weasel. Still has quite a few troops, but uh, money down says they're over here. So these folks are going to split up. Oh wow, letting me onto Cyprus. What a privilege. Now that we have optimism, we don't really even have to care about uh, war exhaustion from these wars, which is lovely. Ah, we inherited troops from you, didn't we, Syria? Or Syria, or whatever you are. Who and where? If any of my troops cost more than 2166 on... Ah, you! You're the Syrian stack. Go away. You put me over my force limit and you cost too much. To people not understanding why I did that, the only troops I want around are troops that I raised in my home area here because they are a lot cheaper, 20% cheaper than any other troops. Not exactly 20%, but let's not get uh, facetious around this place. Going for Corfu, calling it Cyprus, GG Jake. I get it mixed up very often, Corfu and Cyprus. 
What can I say? They're both little insignificant islands. They have so much in common. I am really amazed at how quickly Austria managed to convert all this high base tax land. I'm also incredibly pleased with it, but why have they stopped? Can't be no money, I showered money on them. Jake, did you embargo your rivals? That's odd. Could have sworn that I had. Did I lose a war against you or something? Who are my rivals again? Spain, France, and Ottomans. Very good. Almost good enough. We'll throw an insult at Spain just to... Uh, Put insult to injury. Oh, baby. Look at that. Plus three stability. I could unify as... Um, I could form Hindustan if I wanted to. But I'm not at peace and I don't want to. Malatya. Shame. Caraman moving along to destroy the Ottomans. It's just beautiful. And this is why I want Caraman around with me till the game ends. They get amazing national ideas. If you thought the Ottoman ideas were amazing, these ones are not as amazing, but they are pretty close. Jake, test the siege social policy yourself. It doesn't seem like much, but it results in 21 sieges every now and then. Oh, bad days for... Uh Caraman, now they've got internal conflict. Well, I'm not about to take it right now. Certainly tech up, though, because I don't have much land to core. Alright, good night, Istanbul. Hardly knew you, never loved you. The rest of the stack hang back because I'm sure Caraman are going to be up in arms with revolt soon. They have a good king. Pretty garbage air though. Hopefully the king lasts long and sees them through their westernization. I mean they're Ottoman tech so do, really they've got a base time of about 10 years to get it done. They'll be fine. Jake, what empire do you recommend for new players to the game? Play Castile. It's got a little bit of everything, and it's not difficult. Nice, easy wars to get you into the game. I really only make three? That no, doesn't seem right. Nobody breaks Caraman but me. And I won't break them. Oh, I never did Chlorlika, did I? No, I did. What am I talking about? Full of rubbish today, that's me. First day off work and my mind just goes to mints. Ah, that's right. I was going to throw an insult. Gives me 5 PP, but I seem to have lost a bit more. My Ah, that's right. The Ottomans lost Constantinople, so they no longer have such trade power here for me to privateer off of them. What a pity. Oh, I'll take that though. Knights. No friends, knights. Fran oh, what? France won't join. France is ludicrously in debt. France is going to lose Defender of the Faith if I do this. 